Hey guys, what time six? We're back watching Warrior, the season one, episode four, called The White Mountain. If you enjoy our videos, make sure to leave a like, comment down below your thoughts, and remember to subscribe for future uploads. You can also check out our Patreon page, get early access and the full uncut reactions for all the shows and movies that we watch on the channel. That's also where you can request your own episode for us to watch. I think it's gonna be down below. Help support the channel also by checking that out. And let's get started right away. Jack Damon. David? Jesus. What the hell are you doing here? Who's this? I heard you left the forest to ride with the Pinkertons out in Chicago. It's too fucking cold out there. I came back to San Francisco in the fall. Flanagan didn't have a slot for me, so... Ended up here. Can you get them to stake me? Sure. How's about 50? Yeah, 50's good. Yeah! No, he's gonna keep Woo! playing and lose. Sorry, fellas. Sometimes it's just not your night. Man, it's cleaning. Get tight with the boys. You gotta cash out sometime. You know, now might be the right time to cash out. Yeah. 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 Your pockets full. And that is exactly what I'm gonna do. Good job. Just as soon as this action cools. Oh, oh my god. Fuck you man. idiot. Ooh, hold that. What did he do? I oh, think he just him. I think he betted red. Oh, did he lose everything? <laughs> Damn. You idiot. I think I'm done. Well, he has one coin left. Rough now. Table's rigged. Spoken like a true gambler. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? Ugh. Let me tell you something about the Fung Hai. <coughs> they believe they're direct descendants of Genghis Khan. Oh, shit. They get closer to this mountain, and do you know what they find? An entire mountain of bones. Really? Hundreds of thousands Damn. of skeletons just rotting. Is that real shit, or is just bullshit? That's when they understood who they were dealing with. How do you live with yourself? Being a stick boy for the chicks. Jeez! He has a stick too. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you the policeman special. <laughs> Three weeks. Damn. After that, you're taking a trip to the White Mountain. Jeez! Damn, Damn bro. Threats are being made. You think that's bad? I always carry it with me. Bro, chill. Reminds me where I've been. It's a railroad spike. Well, I used to work on the Transcontinental. You're talking to a legend, man. About 10 years ago, word spread of a giant Chinaman fighting on the Transcon circuit. Damn. Damn. It is a giant. What the fuck? They called him the Yellow Demon. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, baby June. The Yellow Demon. <clears throat> I think I saw we could beat him up. Okay, John Cena, what was that? <laughs> Gone. Oh, that was F you. Disappear in the water. Oh, it's high, high. All right, that's a cheap shot. Get out of here. What do you mean? You hit him over the head with a rock. Oh, damn. Damn. No way. Oh, shit. This guy's doing the... What do you call this again? Oh! They paid the fighters that's double for kills. And the yellow demon... Always got that bonus. My father couldn't stand the thought of some duck getting rich off Bolo's back, so he bought him. What do you mean bought him? Like a hat? <laughs> what do you think it means? Don't kid yourself. <laughs> you got bought, dude. Yeah. <laughs> One of these days, you and I should go a few rounds. Ooh. Yeah, yeah I like to see that. Ooh. Jeez. Tongs. Oh, is this training or like what? Like yeah, is it training Dead or killing? <laughs> that was a dead oh. oh, come on. We ask for killers, and this is what we get. Oh, they're tra training partners. <laughs> Jeez. Is that weed? It's really loud. It's kind of long. Oh, no, no, open. Okay. That, that, during that time, too? Like. Yo, easy, man. That shit kicks. <laughs> 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 is this his first time? <laughs> came to find someone. The girl. I knew it! <laughs> well, now I can't have you fucking off every time I turn she's around. Dead. Oh. Oh, she's dead. Oh, just like her, huh? Yeah. yeah. Well, she kind of is dead. The girl dead he inside. knew is dead. She's a new person. Yeah. I've been on my own for a while. So it's kind of good to know someone has my back. Uh, this shit is making me woozy. I'm gonna go walk it off. Uh, oh. Whenever he goes for a walk, he gets in trouble. Yeah, don't get lost. 
Don't end up in the white girl's home. I think you're Jeez. Whoa. Jeez. What kind of contraption is this? Whoa. Coming like Assassin's Creed with a hidden blade. Yeah, upgrade. Hidden gun. This is like Endgame. Suppose you find yourself in a tight spot. Ooh. Bang. That's sick. I was asked you to set a meeting. So you can say yes and earn your fee and my gratitude, or you can say no and earn neither. Sure. Okay. We've spoken to the chief about doubling up on shifts, but as I'm sure you know, when it comes to budgets, the city's as tight as a fiddle string. As they say, too poor to paint, too proud to whitewash. <laughs> Fuck was that? Okay. A southern thing. <laughs> that stone was on the graveyard shift last night. Well, that is some solid fucking detective work. Isn't it? <laughs> Just help me with my hopes. Double knot the laces and shut the fuck up. <laughs> the grumpy old man. Fuck what the fuck is this? What is this? <laughs> San Francisco Police Department. Nobody move. Wagon. Yeah. You want to play? Oh shit. He's gonna show him. Nah, don't do it. Ooh, fucking ass. He's gonna piss on him? Damn! Damn, bro, that's some disrespect, dog. Nah, that's nasty. Get out, son. What happened here? He drew on me. I almost pissed my fucking pants. <laughs> I have orders to shut you down. And I'm placing you under arrest. Arrest? Brothel? It's a boarding house. These are good girls. It would be better if we were friends, no? Is that money? Early gift for Chinese New Year. We well, can pay the debt, it's money. Oh, right. Thank you for your cooperation, Mom. Look, I don't know what you think you saw. I don't think anything. <laughs> you preachy little shit. Open your fucking eyes. This whole bus is the problem. Why does a southern boy like you have to come all the way out here where nobody knows who the fuck you are to become a cop? What did you do? Huh. That's interesting. Yeah. You stay the fuck out of my business and I'll stay the fuck out of yours. He didn't say shit, but okay. <laughs> you just turned it into something. Oh, bro. Awesome got some balls, dog. Broad daylight too. They really want to set this up. Damn. Like our studio though. Why'd you send Jacob for me? Why did you come? Curious. I guess. I regretted our last meeting. I want you to know I'm not like that. That was a terrible apology. Would you like some tea? Sure. You might as well say, get under my gown. <laughs> nah, I don't trust her and her, her concoctions. Her tea? She didn't she can, Oh yeah, she makes the shit in the tea, right? Oh, right. Yeah. We forgot about that. Taught my sister and me English. Filled our heads with stories about America. So, that's why you wanted to come to America. I didn't want to come. Then why did you? I've never shown those to anyone before. You didn't show them yeah, now either. Exactly. He, did, he just took them. Exactly. So fortress. Assam. Lurk. Assam doesn't get science, eh? <laughs> yeah, this is the science. To America? Here. For the same reason you asked me to. Okay. Oh, he does know the science. Okay. I don't know why I am. You're very sure of yourself. It's a problem. I knew she wanted him in the gown. Yo, how lucky is this guy, bro? <laughs> Dude, fuck off. Huh? Out of all the white girls, he gets the top notch. <laughs> like, <laughs> he gets the top, like... <laughs> that's just what happens when you're a warrior. Oh, that's a savage. Mongolians. Fung hot. Fung hot? We have a proposition for you. I don't like when these bitches talk so much. Perhaps you should listen. But Fung hai don't need help from anyone. Especially you not know, some tall. Tall his nose. And it's that pussy do the talking. I had a feeling that you might feel this way. <laughs> the bitches do talking. Which is why I already killed you. Oh shit. The food? Oh, his oh. eyes. That's fried. You bitch! Damn. I understand you have a proposition. If I set up a meet and someone doesn't walk out, that fucks with my reputation. And if we had told you, would you have done it? 
I definitely would have charged more. Joining the hot wave is the best shot at finding my sister. Your sister? Turns out she didn't want to be found. I married my husband to save my father's company. My mother died when I was little, so I practically raised my sisters. When the business started to fail, I couldn't just let that happen to them. I sold myself the same way you did. I don't think it suits either of us. Keep your eye on the ones in the black suits. That's the uniform of the Chinese gangsters. These are the most hardened criminals in China. That's who's coming over here. We need to send these boys back where they came from. Well, you keep cutting off their hair, they won't be able to go back. Shut up, Lee. <laughs> what was that, officer? <laughs> long Chinaman. Wow, that's so funny. <laughs> The decree of the emperor, all men are required to wear those braided cues. He doesn't mean anything by it, sir. Officer Lee is just a bit of a history buff, that's all. Uh, no, thank you, sir. I don't really like having my picture taken. Get in the fucking picture, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I love when he fucking slaps a Lee. <laughs> fucking hilarious. They're always sunning him, eh? Yeah. He's finding ways to screw up my life. Oh, it's good to see you, too. You just got here. And already, you joined my enemies gotten yourself arrested not only are you fucking a white lady you're fucking hey a stop hating oh thanks by the way for getting me out that was great really saved my ass as usual i'm gonna do it one final time i'm sending you home come with me i'm never going back i'm nobody in china no, I'm and not you're going nobody without here you. there's going to be a war between the tongs and if you're on the wrong side I won't hesitate. Your boat leaves tomorrow. Oh, it's not going anywhere. Fuck off. <laughs> I should never have let you marry Sun Yang to save me. I should have fought to save you. I'm not going to make that mistake again. Come and talk to me when you've got four kids. I thought I was five. Fuck me. I keep forgetting Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> He's my favorite, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> You are the superior officer, and you know the streets better than I do. I shouldn't be questioning you. You're damn right about that. The start is most cops don't dig around in the guts of dead men. That's true, though. I spent my whole life on a farm. Cars start dying, you gotta look inside, see what's killing them. People aren't animals. We are. Aren't we? Bigger brains that trick us into thinking we're something else. Damn. Back shit. We'll get ourselves reassigned out of Chinatown and we'll go off and do some real police work. Sounds good, Sergeant. But until then, you keep your head down. You do what you have to to survive. Marcus, oh, been, God. My is $10. Here's 30. Can I help himself? Hopefully he makes his money back and then he can pay it off. Yeah. No, he won't. The problem is, even when he makes a lot of money, he keeps continuing. Like, he's fucked. Maybe yeah. he learned his lesson? Uh -huh. Got his ass kicked? Alright guys, thanks for watching the reaction portion of the video. Make sure to stay tuned for the discussion. If there's any part of the episode that we weren't able to keep in the YouTube edit, click the link down below for the full uncut reaction. And let's discuss now. The White Mountain. Oh yeah. For the an episode bones. that's called The White Mountain, it didn't really focus that much on that aspect of it. We just got the little scene in the uh, beginning. Then we got a small Fung Hai scene later. And then that's it. Well, maybe mm -hmm. the, the scene that we deemed as a throwaway scene isn't actually a throwaway scene. Like, maybe her power moment is not actually about her, but more about the, uh, what is it, the Fung... Fung Hai. The Fung Hai, and about their power change, and about the secondary effects that might have with the other tongs in the near future. Well, the problem with that is that they didn't explain it. So, you well, know, if that's the case. That's what I'm saying. It might they didn't out. establish who the actual leader is. They didn't establish how they operate. Yeah. Well, we just got, uh, like... The, How they the, operate the a little bit. We know they're savages well, anyways. But that's not explain anything. They're, they're fine. They're Genghis Khan. I, I'm a savage. That doesn't mean shit. Savages. Savage is so broad of a term. It doesn't mean anything. The thing is, the only setup we had is in the beginning when... What the fuck's that guy's name in the thing? Yellow. No, oh, not that guy. The white guy. The stick guy. Oh, yeah, he, he, did, he did all the setup, right? He's yeah. like, oh, these guys think they're... Descendants of Genghis Khan. Whether that's true or not, we don't know. But they think it, so maybe they act like it. That's the setup we got, right? Yeah. But that's not enough to make that second scene work, in my opinion. 
It's kind of a poison, letdown. Yeah, where she poisoned the watch guy. Yeah. And the other guy's like, oh, you have a proposition for us. It's like, was that a change in power? Was that... Like, what was that? No, I think it is a change in power. It wasn't like, even savage. All of these Tom leaders are, like, primarily, like, fairly old dudes, right? And, like, their relationships No, not about Tong Hai, not Tong. No, no, I just mean, like, their relationships are, are, like, based on trade and nepotism for the most part, from what we've seen so far, as most gangs are, you know, it's friends and family business. So uh, I'm assuming that with the change in leadership, it'll have, like, big effects amongst the Tongs. Why st- we're not talking about Tongs, we're talking about Fung Hai. No, no, bro. I'm, I'm thinking more about the girl and her plans, He's thinking like, know? I think, I I'm guess I'm saying the, the, the scene gonna... we got of the Fung Hai where she poisoned them, it wasn't explained what that was. Like, who was that guy? Like, who just uh, sat down? Like, was he his second in command and now he's first in command? Yeah. Like, what's the dynamic here? Well, for me, the for me, it was a letdown because the Fung Hai is supposed to be savages and this guy just got fucking poisoned by food and just, that was it. I was like, bro, that was... Yeah, one, it's a letdown. Second, it didn't set it up and explain it properly. Yeah. So, it's just not I'm assuming their, um, what do you call it, like, gang? is yeah. very poor because everyone thinks of them as savages and they don't want to deal with them. Just by the way he was eating the food, I'm uh, assuming they don't really... Nah. I don't know about that. I, mean, I think, I think, that's, that's I think that, that goes in line with the savagery. Yeah. Yeah. You can't really call them poor if they have this whole system with the, the loan sharking and the debt, right? Well, not poor, but uh, not as not wealthy right. that, as the other two. That scene this was just is why the, they want to switch the leader so they can make deals with them and, you know. That scene was just to show that they're savages. Like, yeah, you know, they have no eating yeah. manners. I don't know if poor is the right word. I think the thing is power. But there might be a financial incentive, though. Yeah. Maybe, That's like, they paid I'm off the second in command to kill the main guy and gave him a huge tip for it or something. I also think it's all speculation because they didn't explain it. That's, maybe that's they gave them access to their drug routes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm sure we'll get one. It just wasn't the strongest part of the episode. Yeah. The so, sec- we, uh, First, we had uh, Bill gambling. We've had this before, right? This is not the first time we know about his gambling issues. Have we? Yeah, I think so. Um, uh, what's his name? Remember that Irish dude? Leary? Yeah, oh, yeah Leary. They, they were playing he cards called him before. out. He's like, oh. you're a gambling man or something. Oh, yeah, because that guy, he always... I want more Leary, man. I wish he comes back. He wasn't even here. Well, did he get uh, driven out? Yeah. Last episode? Wait, did he? Leary's the... Which guy? No, no, no not the Leary. Cops, the, other, the cops oh, got, yeah, got no. driven out. Yeah, it was the other people. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Leary drove them out. Yeah, 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 I remember. Oh, now, yeah, here's Leary. the thing. The most interesting part of this show is Bill mm-hmm. and Leary. Bill because he knows and just understands what the situation is. He's like, bro, these people in power are just fucking about and we're the... The pawns. We're, yeah, we're the pawns. We're the yes men. So he understands that. So it's that's the most interesting part to me. And I want to see how that progresses. And then yeah. the other part is Leary. Because he's kind of an outside force. While most of the politics revolves around Chinatown. We have the Irishmen. Which are... I don't know if they established if they're better off. But they're in a position. And that dynamic makes it more interesting. Rather than just the fucking gang wars. Mm-hmm. Like, how interesting can a gang war really be? Leary's more of a chess player. I think he uh, sets things up. Well, it depends what the stakes are for the gang war. Yeah, but do we, do we really care about either the Tongs or the... Like, do you have an investment? Well, okay, the investment for me, and I think that the intended investment for the viewers is a Psalm and a sister. Exactly, yeah. So it's like, how that works which side out. are they going to pick? Are they going to get like, you know... No, it has to do with more of like Psalm. Well, right? I don't... You no, know, I think it's more about Psalm, not even her. Because they both want to protect each other, but they have split priorities, so... I think that's what the show like, is. Like, how is Assam going to deal with this, right? Exactly. But even then, like, I'm not even bad about the Psalm. I like hey, him. Hey, yo, it like, cheesed me because he's more invested in the ducks, the white girl, you know? I, yeah, that's <laughs> like, the thing. He's making is that what it's actually called? Like, ducks are supposed to be... <laughs> yeah, they're supposed to be okay. white people, but... uh. I don't, I don't know. I don't understand the correlation. Why yeah, are they called the ducks? There? Because they shoot ducks. Is that like an American thing? Yeah, no. Apparently, they live no, in the no, pond. No, no. Or the duck range. Wait, which <laughs> comes first, the ducks or the pond? If the pond comes first, then it makes sense. If the ducks do, then. So hold up. What? I guess I guess the po- the ducks run the pond. Oh well, yeah. Is that the, true? The ducks do run the pond. That's the thing. So what oh, the- that's where it comes from. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So, but oh. that's, that only makes sense if the pond comes first. If the ducks come first, then. So the pond's there, the ducks run in. What are these guys, the frogs? 
No, no, no. The, uh, the, 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 what are they called? I'm trying to understand fucking not, 1800s. Not the What's the slurs. onion? No, no, that's on the inside. Onion is fresh off the boat, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I gotta fucking oh, do my research on the slurs. Yeah. But let's talk about that now. Assam is banging the mayor's wife. So, I mean, props to him because that's a big deal. He gets but the... come on, it's kind of not realistic. <laughs> it's that stereotypical shit. Like, oh my savior, now I gotta fuck him. <laughs> like, that is what it is. But and it's it's so played out in stories, you know. Like, so many stories do this. It's like the guy comes and saves the woman, and now she hops on him. So, but I on. don't like it. But he was sorry, willing no, to die for her, though, right? Or at least mm -hmm. go to a prison for her. I don't, I don't even well, think he, he knew that that was going to happen. He, like, he's... He just saw something, he came in, and... Yeah, he got arrested. Yeah. It's not like he assessed the situation. He's like, oh, I might get the death sentence, but I have to do Because he didn't try this. to implicate her, right? He just held his silence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Assam, he didn't try to implicate her. No, no, I think that was that was, no, that was different because he knew that once he was arrested, no one was gonna listen to him. Like I don't think he assumed he'd get arrested. He's the type of guy that wouldn't. I don't know. I feel like they've had they they obviously have affection for each other, but um, I I agree, it doesn't justify. I don't think it works. What they're though. doing. Like I know what they're trying to set up, right? They're trying to make it poetic. It's like oh, we were both kind of sold off, and they're trying to go that angle. Oh, that's why these two. Should end up together. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it works in that one context. But outside of that, it just doesn't work for me. It doesn't at all. Or she's just super lonely and this is the first guy to no, like that too, obviously. break that veil, you know. Or break the, the marriage protection bubble around her. Mm -hmm. Get to her. The protection bubble. She called him. Exactly. He didn't, he didn't get to her. <laughs> I guess Wait, he did he follow. get to her last? No, he had the balls to get to her. That's the difference. Wait, he he's went the to... one that followed last episode, right? He, he followed the uh, messenger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah. He huh. did. Oh, Jacob. That's a ballsy guy. Yeah, he's got balls. Well, whether I like it or not, it's happening. So, yeah, how much to say? So the other thing is Bill and Lee. What do we think? I like Lee, bro. He's a very honest Shut up, guy. Lee. <laughs> no. Dude, I can't. Lee, get the fuck over here. Yeah. <laughs> now trust him. He did something. He did something messed up. Oh, yeah. his backstory, right? Yeah, I'm yeah. super interested about that. It's like, why the fuck is he here? I... They keep bringing it up. There's more to it, but I think... If Yo. I remember correctly, it was something to do with his wife. Lee's because... Wife? Yes, because... He, uh, at the very beginning, when he was uh, sleeping, she was with him, and then she wasn't there. Is that a woman? Yeah. yeah it looked, it looked more like a dude. So either she's dead. No. <laughs> or what? she left him no. because of something he did, or she he has to leave in order for him to be able yeah. to come home. Yeah, I don't know. The way I was going, that, yeah, that should have looked like a dude in the bed. That doesn't oh, look like oh, a girl. It was a woman. Oh, okay. What? So maybe maybe the man's gay or some shit. No, and, uh, and he had to leave. Like, yeah. That would make sense. Wait, it would make sense. In, in it the was South, a woman, like though. That. It yeah. was a woman, but if he was a dude, it would make sense. Yeah, that's, that's what him. I thought. Like yeah. as soon as I saw that, I'm like, okay, that may be the connection. I don't know. No, but if you just have to leave, that seemed like a regret kind of I fucked up nightmare. Mm. Like maybe she's she died or something. Maybe she died and he's like, I can't live here anymore. I have to. Move. Yeah. I don't know. Or maybe he's he wanted. died. You think he's wanted? Wanted. And that's why his moral compass is like, he has feels like he has to make up for something he did wrong. I guess how is maybe. he listed in the police force? Not if he's yeah, yeah, then, there's no though. way. Yeah. No, they don't have a, yeah. a countrywide background check back then. Back then? It's... Like, the, th the thing about America is like, they're very heavily on state power. So every state kind of handles things differently, right? And that's now. But if you go way back, states are more independent, you know? It was more loosey-goosey. It was loose sure. still, yeah. Was <laughs> loosey -goosey, yeah. yeah. Like you don't know who was a criminal. You just not. bring your papers from there. And yeah, it's more independent, like state to yeah. state. So he could have a record in Georgia and maybe it doesn't translate into whatever check they do in fucking This is what, 20s? Mm -hmm. no, no, this, this is late 1900s. 1800s. Yeah. Oh, hell no, they didn't, dude. But they got yeah. papers, that's it. <laughs> With the fading ink. Did you see that ticket? What the fuck? Oh, yeah. The steamer. Yeah. 
Yeah. What the fuck was that? I don't know. I'm super interested in Lee. It's just because uh, they kind of look down on him too, right? Because it's the Southern. He's a Southern and the Southern, they lost the war, I guess. And I guess they just kind of talk shit to him. And that's how he, he just basically his little son everywhere he goes, you know? Nah, he's, he's, uh, he's, he's coaching and grooming him to be ready for this world. Mm-hmm. Because his moral compass is going to get him killed at some point. Mm. And Bill knows this. So that's why the... The interaction there is super interesting. And I just like their banter. It's fun shit. Oh yeah, when Bill forgot he had four <laughs> five Ethan. minutes. He forgot Ethan. His favorite. His favorite. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching our reaction for Warrior Season 1 Episode 4. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, comment down below your thoughts, and remember to subscribe for future uploads. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace.